everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have another edition of Subscription Box Sunday and today I have four different boxes to share with you guys and I'm super excited to show them to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here, so if you're a sub box lover like me or just want to learn more about subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe. So today we are going to be getting into the Bella Skin Box the cacao chocolate subscription, the Vela box, which is a candle subscription, and fruit for thought, which is kind of a lifestyle fruit themed subscription. Timestamps to all the boxes down below in case you wanna switch around, but we're gonna start with the Bella skin box. Side note, I know that this necklace is a lot, same with the earrings, but I unboxed them earlier today, um, and that video will be going up this week, but I'm obsessed and I don't wanna take them off, and so I'm just gonna be over jewelry for this t-shirt, and we're just gonna live with it. You know, it's Sunday, it's fine. So we're gonna start with Bella Skin Box. This is a skincare subscription box. It is $35 a month and you get about five skincare products inside. Free shipping on this. And I do also have a coupon code down below where you can get $5 off of your first box. This is my second time getting this and I absolutely love the first time. So I'm super excited to get another one. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. On top, there is the card. It looks like the value of the products inside is $143 this month and they're all our five products. So the first thing that I'm pulling out looks to be a makeup bag. So this is from Soon Skincare. Um, so it has Soon Skincare on the top and just little lip marks. It has some on the back. This bag retails for $16. The inside is just a regular lining. I think it's really cute. For some reason, I am a sucker for branded makeup bags. I just feel bougie for whatever reason. It's like, I don't know. I think it's a really cute bag. You can fit, this is a good size too. Like you can fit a good amount of products inside and a lot of skincare and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's cute. So the next thing out is also from Soon and this is their Peony Foot Mask. Now I will tell you, I've used their, their sheet masks before and I think they have some of the best like gel masks out on the market. Um, but these are their um, foot masks. This is a five pack and retails for $45. They are, their skincare isn't cheap, just as an FYI. So this is you can hydrate and soothe your feet without stopping your day. They're easy to use booties, have an inner layer to infuse your feet with serum while the outer layer allows for walking and treating feet at the same time. Um, so peony extract penetrates even the most weathered cracked feet to deeply nourish dry, tough skin. This will be perfect for winter. So I think I might wait until then. This has peony root et extract, green tea extract, and apple extract. Single use. So you put the little booties on your feet. I hate the feeling. I'm gonna be honest. I do like to do foot masks, but I hate the feeling of just the squishy, squishy, blah, blah. I don't know, but I still will do it. I, I still like them. So you open it up, you put these little booties, like little sock-like things that have liquid lotion-y type of stuff inside or serum or whatever. What I like to do as well, to get like the most out of them, you leave them on for for 15 to 20 minutes um, and then you can massage the remaining um, essence into your feet or up your leg. What I like to do is do these before bed and put socks over my feet and get into bed with that so that it like has more time to soak. Obviously some of it's gonna like soak into the sock at that point but um, you leave the booties on so the serum is already there. So that's what I like to do. You could just, you know, get in your bed too like that. I I wouldn't recommend doing these type of like foot masks during the day if you're going out because then you're like, your feet are going to be very, very moisturized. And if if you're somebody who like likes to put socks on wet feet, then go for it. But I, I'm somebody who would rather do this more at the end of the day or when I know I'm not going to be like going out or like walking anywhere. So very excited about these. You don't get foot masks too often in subscription boxes, so I'm really excited. The yeah, next thing out is from Tropic... Wait, what? Tropic... Gal... Tropic... Tropic Gal... Gial? Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Okay, it's not... It's Tropic G-Y-A-L. Tropic Gal Naturals. And this is a hair sealant for straight to wavy hair. Interesting. What is a hair... What is this? Um, this retails for $37. You shake well before each use and apply the desired amount of product, starting off with one pup to rub onto freshly washed hair, avoiding roots, and you comb through. If you pair with other products, use the last step to seal on the moisture. So this can help tame frizz. So, okay, that's what I wanted to know. So you kind of put it in to help tame frizz and flyaways and things like that. So I actually like this. Um, the packaging is really cute. That's what it looks like there. It has a little pump. It is very liquidy, so I'm thinking this is more like it looks kind of more like an oil consistency rather than like a lotion. Sometimes you get like lotions or creams for this. This looks way... 
So anyway, I will, I will use this. There are some shampoos and conditioners that I have that sometimes will make my hair a little bit more frizzy than normal. Like the Sol de Janeiro shampoo and conditioner, I love the way it smells, but it makes my hair frizzy, which like my hair is pin straight or almost pin straight. So sometimes I like to use that because I like the smell, but I don't know if it's good for my hair, but this would be perfect to put on after. The next thing out looks like this. And this is the Marley Sophia Naturals Refle Fresh Clay Mask, which retails for $20. So this is great for eczema and psoriasis skin. And inflamed and itching skin can benefit from this mask as well. Interesting. It can soak up excess oils while generating cell turnover for to reveal softer, smoother, refreshed complexion. Now this is a powder mask, which means you have to like add, you take some out and mix it. So you take a half a teaspoon of the clay into the liquid of choice. So you can use water, yogurt, avocado, raw honey, all that kind of stuff until a paste consistency achie achieved. You apply to the face and neck area, let dry and rinse with warm water. I have psoriasis on my scalp, so I would <laughs> wish I could just like stick this in my scalp, but that would be, that would not be great. Um, but I love masks. These are tend to be good for my skin type. So um, or like clay masks do, but just because it oily skin. So I'm excited to play around with that. And this lasts a while just because it's powder and you only need a little bit. And last but not least is this here. This looks to be a serum. This is from Beauty Nest and this is their clarifying face serum, which retails for $25. It soothes and calms skin while feeding the skin with DMAE. So it's performing an anti-aging. Has organic aloe, antioxidants, vitamins E and B3 has MSM for brightening, hyaluronic acid, which helps retain moisture, as well as tea tree oil, which is antibacterial. Interesting. Clarifying is something I need, so I'm excited to kind of play around with this. You apply, you know, to your skin and then put moisturizer on afterwards and SPF if you're going out. If you're going to bed, you don't necessarily need the SPF, but I'm excited to get another serum. And this, I don't, you, I don't feel like I get a lot of clarifying serums, so I'm excited to have this. So the next subscription is Cacao, and this is a chocolate subscription. Very excited to bring this to the channel. As a side note, all of these boxes were sent to me for review. I should probably say that. I forgot about that. So everything that I am opening today was sent to me free for review. This next one, again, is a chocolate subscription. Now, this one is a fancy chocolate subscription, and I'll talk a little bit more about why that is here in a second. This box is $39.99 a month, and you can get $5 off using the coupon code that I have down below. Now, I have unboxed this once on my channel before, but it's been a while since then, so I'll explain to you a little bit more about the company and why the price is the way it is. So these are craft chocolate bars and they make sure that all of the cacao farmers for the bars that they have in this box are paid fair wages, which I think is really, really awesome. The makers of the chocolate control the entire process of the making. So this isn't like this huge manufacturing thing. These are genuinely craft chocolate bars and there'll be notes and things like that. Um, it's very, very fancy. And the chocolate that I got last time was phenomenal. So the people that they work with, um, they work directly with cacao farmers to source the beans at fair prices, um, to roasting the beans for flavor. They, um, you know, crack and winnow the shells of the beans, grind them with sugar for sweetness and tempering and molding the chocolate. Some of the makers even hand wrap their bars themselves. Um, so the entire process is in-house and made in small batches. So these aren't like the chocolate bars you would see in your grocery store. These are not mass produced bars. Um, and so most of the bars in the this box would retail for between five and twenty dollars. These are really nice craft bars of chocolate. There are about four to five bars in each box for $39.99 a month, but if you sign up for longer subscription periods, you can get it cheaper. Um, and again, I do have that $5 off code down below. This would also be a great gift as we come up to the holiday season. Um, so definitely, I think that this would be like, my mom would be obsessed. I actually shared some of the chocolate with her last time and she was really impressed as well. She is a dark, dark chocolate fanatic. So let's shut up and eat some chocolate. Well, not you, me, but you know. So this is what it looks like inside. There is a little um, bag with all of the bars. And there was a little cold pack inside of here to make sure that all of the chocolate stays cool because it is still a little bit warm out, though all weather has been here and I've been loving it. So it looks like we have five different bars this time around. And the packaging on these is amazing. And the smell. Okay, it is, this is my lunch. Whatever. Because it's like, 1220 right now. So the first chocolate that I'm pulling up is from the Chocolate Conspiracy. This is from Salt Lake City, Utah. And this is their Blackberry Ginger Chocolate Bar. 73% cacao. I'm, most of these are like 73% or, whoa, there's 100% cacao. 
that's gonna be interesting. These are more in the dark chocolate range, so definitely keep that in mind, but I think that the flavors are just absolutely incredible. Um, so this is sweetened with honey and it has organic cacao. They don't provide a card because each of the packages talks really well about the notes inside, and so that helps them, you know, not have an extra piece of paper. So it says an 18 year aged blackberry ginger balsamic vinegar provides a tart and fruity flavor and an extra touch of ginger oil adds an aromatic finish. In India, ginger is called the universal spice because it balances all body types and contains many health benefits. So of course we're gonna taste a little bit of all of these. So this one is like kind of shaped like, I, there's a piece that was broken up on top, shaped kind of like in a honeycomb pattern. I'm not gonna eat that huge piece because I'm gonna be eating a lot of chocolate here. So let's try this one. Mmm, that's smooth. I definitely get the hints of the blackberry in there. I'm not feeling so much of the ginger. I get maybe a light little bit of ginger, but I love that. All right, the next bar is this one here. This is by Maid Kese, um, Beyond Good Uganda, Single Origin Cacao Crispy Rice. And this is the 73, this is 73%. So it says, from the beginning, we've always been about Madagascar cacao, but recently we've stretched our legs into Uganda. The cacao from Uganda is distinct and, pa and pairs well with many flavors. We hope you enjoy our Ugandan chocolate as much as we enjoyed discovering it and bringing it to you. So this one has like the foil wrapped chocolate. So this one has like little rectangle shapes and on the back, you can kind of see the little puffy rice. So in contrast to the other bar, this one is a lot more crunchy rather than creamy, obviously because of the puff rice. It has a really good flavor. Starts off a little bit bitter and then that rice adds a nice sweetness to it. Um, I love the journey of flavor that that took me on. Um, and I don't know, that one's really, really good. There was a moment in eating that that it reminded me of like some of the German chocolate that I'm used to eating since I'm German. Um, but it had so many like ebbs and flows of flavor. That was fantastic. So the next bar I'm a little bit scared about. This one is 100% cacao, which I don't know if I've ever eaten anything 100% cacao before. This is from French Broad Chocolate, which is handcrafted in Asheville, North Carolina. The packaging is gorgeous. It's like in an actual box. So it says the French Broad River, this ancient winding river connects us to our cacao groves thousands of miles away and reminds us that we are all connected with our chocolate. We honor this interdependence. I mean, this packaging though is everything. So, oh, okay. <laughs> A bar of great intent. This bar is not for everybody, I figured. Um, but it's folks like you and me, we relish the opportunity to taste unadulterated purity of 100% cacao chocolate with no sweet embellishment. The seed and the maker can both show their true colors. This is a bar of great intent, a blend of cacao or origins, our chocolate makers individually roast and refined before blending them to taste the conch. Though no sugar is added, the bright acidity, acidity manifests as natural sweetness. This blend surprises tasters with its harmonious balance of flavors. There's also a little story there that I'm not gonna read. I am very intrigued by this. This packaging, oh my gosh, bougie, I love it. Okay, let's uh, let's go for this. So this is what it looks like. The chocolate does have their like logo in it. I'm not sure that's gonna focus for you to be able to see, but it's there. Let's try this. That was a journey. Um, I don't dislike it, but again, an ebb and flow where I like it, I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it, I like it, I don't like it. It is not sweet at all. No sugar. Very creamy, very bitter. It has a very nice fruity profile the entire time, which I love. Um, I would say for me, I would cut the size in half. Um, the size of the, because I'm not used to this, that was a little bit too much. I think if I had had about half of that, I could have enjoyed it. I am torn on this because I love the flavor and it took me on a journey of ups and downs. I feel like I need to drink water now. I don't know. I don't dislike it, but I do dislike it. It's very weird. I love the flavor profile. I'm just not used to not having any form of sugar in chocolate. So to be honest, what I might do is eat that with a piece of fruit or something sweet because I think that this is a very, very nice, luxurious bar of chocolate. I don't wanna disrespect it because I think this is really, really awesome, but I'm just not used to it. So I need to 
make myself used to it. All right, the next one is 75%. I can handle 75%. <laughs> um, this one is the Ritual Chocolate Belize Toledo 75% Cacao. Again, really pretty packaging. I love that silver foil. Um, so this has dried fig, cherry, and tobacco. Well, the fig and cherry I'm so for. I will have to see how the tobacco works. And this is from Park City, Utah. The packaging is also really cool because it like opens, I don't know, it opens really cool. I love it. So it says, best enjoyed sitting around a campfire with friends while roasting marshmallows. Well, I'm not doing that today, but maybe I'll save the rest of the bar for that. Again, really loving the packaging here. Oh, the smell, love the smell. Okay, this doesn't have any like perforated ways. So you kind of just have to break a piece. There it is, there. I love that. That is really, really good. I like the fig, the cherry, you get both of those notes. Subtle tobacco, not heavy. Very, very much like this. Next thing out is a bar of white chocolate, which is interesting. Um, this is the Cacao Sempaca Barcelona. White uh, chocolate blanco, white chocolate. It's roses and strawberry flavored. Now, in general, I am not a big fan of white chocolate. It's just too sweet for me. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna be super sweet especially in conjunction to this one, which has zero sugar. So it kind of has this fun little swirly pattern going on there. So that is what it looks like up close. There's like little pink specks in it, which I'm suspecting would be the strawberry and rose. For a white chocolate, that is not bad. I like that. With white chocolate, you get less of the white, you know, there's not as much flavor from the actual chocolate. There's more flavor from the added flavor. So you definitely get the rose and the strawberry. Not a big rose fan, but it works very, very beautifully with this chocolate. I like this one a lot. So those are all of the chocolates that I received in the, I believe this is the September cacao box. I am very excited about trying all of these, sharing these with my family. This one is definitely a tester chocolate. You're probably gonna see some faces if you give this to people who aren't used to dark chocolate, but very, very excited about these. So again, I have the $5 off code and let us switch into it. Bella box. So I might be getting a chocolate headache now because I haven't eaten anything since breakfast and I just ate a bunch of chocolate. That wasn't like a bunch of chocolate, but I'm feeling like I could get a chocolate headache there. I don't know. We'll see. But let's get into Bella box. So Bella box is a monthly candle subscription box. Each month you get candles from different brands. This one that they send me is the very, very, the, 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 the Vivari box, which is $30 a month and you get an eight ounce and four ounce candle. They also have a $20 subscription where you just get the eight ounce candle or a $10 subscription where you just get a four ounce candle each month. And there's usually like an extra goodie inside as well. I do have a code down below where you can get $5 off of your first box. Again, I still love the natural packaging that they switched to. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It says, it's time for a new adventure. So the candles always come in these little sacks, but they have different colors each time. So there's always a card going over the candles and the company. And now there's also a how to burn a candle guide, which is cool, or how to burn a candle like a pro. Um, so it says light for two and a half to three hours on the first burn. It says why wax has a muscle memory. If you let the entire surface of the wax melt the first time, it will follow the same pattern every uh, every time. Otherwise, tunneling may occur. Trim, trim your wick a fourth an inch before each burn, which prevents your wick from smoking a lot and creating soot marks on your jar. Clean, even wicks will also help the candle burn more evenly. And then it says, keep the burn time under four hours. If you burn it too long, it can cause the wick to mushroom. And then it has an unstable flame that can become dangerously large and smoky. And last but not least, extinguish the flame with a snuffer. Blowing out your candles can cause black ash particles from the wick to get stuck in your wax. Smother the flame to avoid smoke and soot. So I think that's super helpful to include. So both of the candles this time around are from Treehouse & Co, which is from Seattle, Washington. They create experiences inspired by life on the remarkable islands of the Pacific Northwest. Take home the essence of the islands with their collection of hand-poured soy candles, each featuring a custom blend of natural fragrance oils or experience island life firsthand from a vantage in the trees with a stay in one of the custom-built tree houses on the five pristine acres opening on Washington's Wind Bay Island in 2021. Interesting. Okay, let us start. Ooh, that was aggressive of me. Uh, with the first candle. Ooh, mm, these are so aesthetically pleasing. And I, you know me, I love gold. These are very aesthetically pleasing. So the eight ounce candle that I received is in mist. So this is what it looks like. 
Um, this has top notes of watery pear, middle of amber, and base of vanilla. It's a cool September morning and all is calm. The sun is rising and a golden glow peeks through the fog. You step out into the dewy grass and breathe in the fresh morning mist. Oh, that description. Oh my goodness. So this is the scent that everybody and all three subscriptions would receive. Oh my goodness. Standard wick, standard wax, like looking wax, no colorful things there. Wow. Okay. You get the pear, but it's like sexy pear because of that amber. And then the vanilla kind of adds the sweetness as well. I was expecting that to be more fruity, but that amber, even though it's a middle note, I feel like that's what I'm getting up front, probably because it overpowers the pear a little bit, but mm, I love that. That's like sexy pear right there, if that's a thing, but love this candle and I just, it's so aesthetically pleasing. So the next candle is this one and this is the Woodsman candle. Now you only would get this scent in the Vivari box. If you get the other ones, you would get this either in eight ounce or if you got the smaller one, you'd get this version in four ounce, but you get the other scent here. So the Woodsman one has a top note of amber, middle of lily of the valley and base of bergamot. It says, inspired by the trees of Wood Bay Island, which in the first days of summer carry a fresh warmth that still remembers rain. Okay, interesting. This one is, none of these are what I expected, but I like it. This again has that, you know, deep sexiness because of that amber. And I get the bergamot and that lily of the valley, that kind of rain that they're talking about comes through at the end as well. Or maybe at the beginning, I don't know. I'm not good with scents, but and I also need, I keep, okay, so somebody mentioned this in the comments, and I, I got a new camera, and I keep looking at the viewfinder instead of in the lens, so I apologize if in my recent videos I kind of look off to the side a lot rather than straight at the camera. I'm still trying to adjust um, to, to the new camera and everything. I think the quality is better, and I have a new microphone and all that. It's definitely an improvement, but now I need to move my eyes to the lens so it looks like I'm looking at you and not off into the distance. But I think these candles are so, so cute. They smell really good. They are a deeper scent. These ones are ones because of these deeper scent notes like the amber and, and those things. I could see myself getting a headache if I'm not careful about the way that I burn it. So if you're somebody who gets headaches from scents, these may not be for you, but if you light them carefully or in the right places, you should be fine. Now the bonus gift. This is the bonus gift this time around. And these are, oh, it comes with stickers. Okay, this is from Lunchkins, and this is from Bethesda, Maryland. These are disposable, planet-friendly alternatives to single-use plastic bags. They're recyclable, compostable, food-safe, and toxin-free. All products give back to the planet with every sale and have less plastic. I am all about cutting out plastic in my life. Um, I don't need to pack lunches, but I think this is like a cute back to school thing, though most people are kind of at home, but you could definitely fit like a sandwich in there. And then it also comes with little um, stickers as well. So I'm guessing like when you're done, you fold this over and you put a sticker on it to kind of seal it closed. Um, so that's really cute. It does have a little note section too, so you could like write what's on it or you could do a cute little note. So I think that that's a really awesome bonus item. All right, so that was Bella Box for September. So next, last but not least, we have the Fruit for Thought Box. This is a heavy box this month, so I'm really curious to see what we have inside. All right, so this month's theme is apple cider donut. Uh, that is so fun. I'm super excited about that. I believe that October, which if you sign up now, you would get the October box, is pumpkin chai, and I didn't even talk about retail price, so sorry about that. This is $39.95 a month, and I do have a 10% off coupon code down below that you can sign up through. I'm looking at the thing over here and not to the lens, so I apologize. Now, I can already tell you from looking in here, I'm very excited about this. Apple cider donut is like September, fall, perfect. I'm all here for it, so let's get in. So the very first thing that I am pulling out is from Poopery, and this is their apple cider flavored Poopery. Um, I have gotten this once before. I think I added it to FabFitFun add-ons a while ago. Basically, you uh, spritz this over the water on your toilet, creates like a shield, and then when you go to the bathroom, it like seals in the scent, I guess. I'm not gonna talk about this too much because, you know, it is what it is, um, but I think that this is fun. You could if you could just use it as like a room spray too if you wanted to as well. You shake well and spritz it three to five times into the toilet bowl. So I'm excited about that. I'm not gonna like spritz 
it right now, but I actually think that that is a super fun product to get. And this, these are pretty pricey. Um, what does it say here? I, I, the reason why I haven't repurchased is just because they are pretty expensive, but this has an apple cider scent that is a seasonal blend of cinnamon, apple, and ginger natural essential oils. So cool. The stuff that I'm seeing in here is genuinely super awesome this month. This is a really good box so far. So anyway, the next thing that I am pulling out is from McStevens, and this is their spiced apple cider drink mix. There are two packets inside. So you just add hot water and mix up in a glass um, to keep you warm on a crisp night by the fire. Fun, I love this. I think we got a white chocolate or a pink chocolate, hot chocolate from McStevens that I really liked last year. Yeah, this is exciting. I hope this has, oh, am I, I don't know if I'm smelling this or something else, but I can smell like the spicy, yummy appleness and that's so fun. Oh my gosh, this is huge. This is probably why, exciting okay I'm I love fall so I'm getting excited because this box feels very fall and I am I love boxes that feel fall so this out here is a body lotion from Green Witch Bay Trading Company this is their apple cider shea butter lotion this is 16 fluid ounces it has a little black cat on it um so it's a luxurious spa lotion with shea butter and apple blossom oil and an apple cider scent so yeah we're using this right now whoa did you hear that um, definitely want to put some on my hands. So there it is there. It takes a while for the first pump to come out. It's very liquidy and I just put way too much. So, oh my goodness. <gasps> this just smells like you walked into Michael's craft store <laughs> during fall. Oh my gosh. I, oh, this is everything and more. Anything that you would want out of a fall lotion, this is it. I, I'm obsessed. I, this, I love this. It smells so spicy and yummy and fall and I am going to use this up. I think the label is adorable. I am excited about a lotion. Yay! And that absorbs quickly. It smells so good. Oh, you're going to just smell like fall. I love apple butter. This is Miss Miller's homemade apple butter. I am so excited. And I'll tell you why here in a second. So this uses an old time recipe in Ohio's Amish country to cook down their apple butter to a delightful rich texture and taste. Enjoy on bread or dip your donuts in, yum. I am so excited about this. What I've been doing for breakfast recently, I buy cinnamon raisin bagels, spread them with low fat cream cheese and put some apple butter on top. And that has just been my breakfast. I mean, I toast the bagels. So I'm so excited to get something that's like just a really special one. I am so excited about this and I love food, so. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Apple cider donut mix. Excuse me? Um, yes, please. Okay, so this is the, this is the star of the box, which they say. So it says, make your own irresistible baked, not fried donuts or muffins with this all natural apple cider flavored and dusted with cinnamon sugar. Oh my goodness. So these are baked, which makes them healthier. Um, you will need butter, milk, and eggs to make this. You preheat the oven to 400 degrees. It says grease two six well donut pans, which I don't have. So I might make muffins out of these because I don't feel like investing in donut pans. Mix it all together, bake it. I'm so excited. This looks so good. I love getting baking mixes. I am all for this. And this is by the Little Big Farm Foods. They have a little card in here that talks about more of the things that they have, and you can use the code NEXT20 to receive 20% off on your next order. But they have tons of different mixes, carrot cupcakes, organic lemon squares, traditional popover mix, pretzel bread mix, and stuff. And it talks a little bit more about the company on the back. So very excited for that. The next thing out are more food things. These are Aaron Baker's Original Breakfast Cookie Minis in Caramel Apple. These are low calorie, fruit sweetened, and I guess delicious. They are swirled with caramel and whole grain oats. These sound good to me. It's a great little snack. Um, and I will definitely be eating these with everything else. So the last thing out is this little mini, like I don't know if it's a sample size, but it's just a little mini bar of soap. This is from Sun Bloomer Soap Works and it has sent us an amazing, oh yeah, this is a sample of handmade spice apple soap and you can get 20% off any of their full size soap bars using code FFT2020 for 20% off. That's really, really cute. I don't know what I'll use it for because it's so tiny, but oh, it does smell really, really good. I am not gonna lie. I think this is my favorite Fruit for Thought box of all time. I love it. 
It feels so fall. I'm so excited to use everything. I'm excited about the donut mix. I'm excited about the lotion. I'm excited about the this. I'm, ex I'm excited about everything. I think that this was, this was so worth it. I absolutely love this theme. I love everything we got. I am very excited for it. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about this box, about all the other boxes. Fall weather is finally here. We have a high of like 60 something degrees today and a low of 44. I cannot be more excited. Hoodies and sweatpants are ready to be deployed. Um, and I don't know, I'm just all in the fall spirit right now. I'm ready to roast things. I'm ready to bake things. I'm just so ready for fall. And this, this box particularly made me really excited, but I'm also excited to eat the chocolates. I'm excited to burn the candles. Those felt very fall. Um, and of course that skincare is gonna help me, uh, my skin get better because I'll be honest, summer is always rough for my oily skin. It was particularly rough this summer. I think my skin is at its worst it's been since I, you know, had teenage hormones. And I think it's just because I'm not wearing makeup on a regular basis. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't wear makeup, it's not good for your skin. But genuinely, my skin was so much better when I was wearing makeup because the oil had something to absorb into. I'm still working from home and I will be the rest of the year. And when I work from home, I don't wear makeup. And that has been the downfall of my skin. <laughs> so, and on top of that, I, I've just been too lazy to do a beautiful mask at the end of the day. I barely want to put serum on my face. I don't know what my deal is if I'm just blazy, which it probably is the case, but I don't know. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the box. Uh, down. Uh, definitely let me know your thoughts down below on these boxes. I'm thinking that this is probably a pretty long video at this point, so if you've stayed to the end, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so let me know your thoughts down below. I've got some fun videos coming this week, and I'll see you in my next video.